know the uh, loss is difficult, but when you first talk about your game, you were on tonight, like we haven't seen you before. Yeah, uh, it was a high game, but we still came out with a loss, so not really. What was working for you tonight? Because you had a lot of confidence throughout the whole game. Uh, I just say the confidence came from like wanting to win. So when I'm down, I feel like whatever we need to do, if I take a shot, then I got to make it. So that's how I looked at it. What was the, you guys got behind early and every time you had a punch, they had a bigger punch. Uh, what was that like to have so many ebbs and flows and get close if not close enough? Uh, it was just like we couldn't win anything, but that's what we got to learn and get better because we, we go out there and we come to play, but we're not competing with them. So we got to learn to like get the little plays and do the gritty stuff to win if you really want to win. So. Rob, how do you do that? I mean, is that is that stuff you got to do better in practice? Is it focus? What uh, do you so, think this team needs? So mindset is uh, how, you, how everybody comes to play, how everybody looks at it. If everybody comes together, then we'll win games. Yeah. But if everybody's not connected all the way, then we're not going to do the little stuff. How much are you guys missing DJ right now? Uh, definitely missing a lot because he helps us with like being a leader and helping us be together and he's our point guard so what is the biggest thing to hold come three straight home games of 90 plus points with the, that's not, that's not happened uh one more time you guys have given up 90 plus points at home maybe on the road you understand something but at home what's just not working defensively um it's just not boxing out giving letting them get second chance rebounds we're not rebounding the ball uh it's the little plays we'll give up after the play it's just little things so Either we're going to win it or not, but I don't think it's a big difference on why we're winning a game and losing because we're not out there not doing it. We're still having chances to win and we're not pulling it out. So if that's what we got to fix, then I feel like it's a long season. I guess what's it like for the group out here without having DJ? Obviously, it's another guard and you, know, you guys play well together. I guess what's it like not having him out there as well? Uh, I say it's just another piece of the team that's not added where, where it's great. DJ wants it and DJ comes to play every day, and not everybody has that mindset, and that's one of the players we're missing. That's our point guard. So when he comes to play every day, it gives our starting five a push, I guess. So uh, really just his mindset, leadership, and his want to win. How frustrating is it? You mentioned it's the little things that are beating you. If you're being outplayed, you get it. But if it's just the little things, shouldn't that be correctable? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, like, that's it's correctable if you want to correct it. So. It's on us, it's on our team. We're still young, so we just gotta learn and if we really want it, we'll get it. Robin, in, in your mind, what is missing defensively? Uh, I would say it's not really like, Tennessee had one of their best games. Their point guard had, has he ever had a 26 and 13 assist game? So everybody comes to play their best games against us. So. It's not really us playing defensively. It's rebounding the ball. It's letting them get second chance points. It's not getting back on defense. So it's not really half court defense. Like, but it's just like not talking, communicating. So little thing. It, this this may sound worse than what it is, but is it an effort issue when it comes to second chance points and 50-50 balls and things like that? Are, is it an effort issue on that end of the floor? To a certain extent, it definitely is an effort issue because like. Even though some players don't go out there and they purposely not go for the ball, not every, but like it's just like the ball is there and we're not going as hard as we can, you know, because we don't really want it. So it is an effort. Like you got to really want it. And I don't know if everybody wants it, but I feel like we do as a team and we just got to understand because we're young and it's only a few games in. So, is there a frustration level when you feel like it seems like you guys feel like you could score anytime? Just a handful of stops would make a difference in a lot of these games. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Definitely frustrated, but I feel like we can get better and take it as a learning learning lesson. Is, is there a, a sense of urgency? Because even though you said you're a few games in, there's only like a month left to go in this thing before it gets real. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's basketball. You get better, and if, we, if it's not March, or does it really matter? So it's just learning. We're learning how to play, and we're still young, and it's lost. Everybody loses, so you got to lose to win. Rob, you made you guys, you know, fell behind early, made that run to make it close. Then in the second half, made the run, but just couldn't quite get over the hump. Why was that? You know, you guys were close, but just couldn't get over. Uh, they were hitting tough shots. Uh, players that hasn't shot over 20% for their team in the last five games is scoring 20-something points. So it's just something like, I don't know, it's just a game you got to learn from. 
how would you describe just your performance? I know it's tough in the loss, but you know, just trying to put your team on your back, just trying to roll this thing. Uh, yeah, I was solid. It's all right. Uh, I hit a couple shots for sure. I could have rebounded way better, but. Um, it was all right, but we lost. I know we've been talking about DJ not being out there. Just Cal said it. You know, when he doesn't play, you guys don't win. What? Are, how important is he to your team? Uh, he's definitely important because he's a big leader. He wants to win. So if you your point guard is from the beginning is not here, so it's kind of hard to have the will to win, want to win without him. Rob, how much do you guys need Trey getting back to being Trey for you guys? He, he seems like he's been off the last few games. Uh, yeah, we definitely need Trey because when Trey doesn't perform or when Antonio doesn't perform their best, it's like it's just like we we we're a little short and like it it comes down to the end. But when they perform, it just takes us over the top. But uh, I mean, everybody has bad games, and even if it's not really a bad game, you're just not in it right now. So I. I I respect it, and I feel like in the future games, we're not going to play like that for the rest of the season, so it'll be good. So obviously a quick turnaround. What's the biggest thing you can take from tonight and be ready on Tuesday? Uh, I'd say wanting to win, like giving effort. And if y'all really, like, uh, if we want really want to win, we'll dig in and learn from the film and stuff. But if we don't, we're just going to keep playing like it's a joke. So i, I say effort for sure. Did you feel like there was lacking of that tonight? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but I, I just feel like we, we didn't fight as hard as we could. I mean, they rebounded, out-rebounded us way easier, so that gives them way more points. So. I'm sure you were told this was going to be a, a physical game. Tennessee always plays that physical style. Was it still kind of jarring once you're actually out there and playing against them, not just how physical it is? Uh, I mean, it's physical, but it's basketball. They can't value it's basketball. It's not football, so uh, to a certain extent, it's physical, but you got to get through it and play basketball. and. You might not get every call, but you'll get some calls. So I don't really try to look at the physical mess of the game. In the first game press you said it just seems like when DJ doesn't play, we don't win. Uh, what kind of load would it take off some of you guys, and what could it do for the offense and defense as well when, when you guys get DJ back? Yeah, the, DJ is a great teammate. Um, he's very vocal on the court. Uh, he does everything that we need him to do. Um, you know, he's really good at keeping guys in the game. and. And then on defense and offense, he's just a dog. So he's he's really fun to play with. So, um, but you know we gotta we gotta win without him as well. So we're gonna we'll keep working, we'll keep getting better, and we'll keep fighting as a team. And and this game isn't gonna find the rest of the season. There's a long season ahead. Coach Coach talked about second chance points a lot, probably even more than defense, even in that post game pressure there. What is it with the, the, the second chance points and the rebounding and the inbound plays? Is, is, is that effort or is it something you guys are doing fundamentally? What, what do you think it is? You kind of see the floor in a different perspective. Yeah, we just gotta we gotta be more physical. Um, we can't let them hit us and get pushed onto the basket. We gotta hit them and get them out of the way and, and go. And we gotta go get the ball. Um, they went and got the ball with two hands and we tried to stick one hand in. Um, and when they did that, they, they came up with every ball. Two losses at home, NCC, going on the road. How do you take these two losses, take into a positive, and go on the road to win? Yeah, I mean, we're just gonna we gotta go in tomorrow, watch film, learn from it, um, you know, and then we'll have a walkthrough, and then uh, Monday, you know, we'll come in and we'll have a good practice, and we'll have all good vibes going up to Vandy, and we're gonna have to fight and come together as a team and uh, try and get the win. Talk about Rob and what he brings to the table. Just talk about his thoughts and team to meet up. Yeah, Rob's a great player. Um, he's really fun to play with. Um, I mean, in the first half he kept us in, and the second half he did all he could to keep us in the game. Um, so he was—he's fun to watch. He's fun to play with. He's not very fun to play against, but um, no, I mean he's—he's he's a really good player. He's a good teammate. Uh, he's, a, he's a good kid, and he's super fun to play with. We kind of saw Justin kind of bounce back a little bit in this one. What can you say about his mentality and just going forward and coach kind of boosting him up as well? Yeah, Justin's in the best frame of mind that he's been since he's been here, and it's and it's really good to see. Um, you know, he's smiling, he's having fun. Uh, every day he's in the gym, he's playing, he's doing whatever it takes to, to get better, and he's not he's not giving up um, on himself or the team. He's going to keep fighting, keep doing what it takes. Reed, what do you think is, is missing with you guys defensively? Um, we just got to keep coming together as a team and stick to the game plan. Uh, we got to talk. 
And I mean, we're going to be okay, but we're going to we'll continue to get better and be more physical and communicate better. When it comes to 50-50 balls, rebounding, second chance points, you know, these things that teams are getting on you guys, what, is it, what does it take to kind of shut that down? Yeah, we just got to be physical. We got to go get the ball with two hands. We can't. We can't stick one hand in there and hope to tip it out or anything. Um, especially with a playing a physical team like Tennessee, we got to go in and not be afraid to get hit and just go grab the ball. Is there a is there a sense of urgency to get this thing cleaned up? Because yeah, you guys are it's still a little young, but I mean, let's be honest, tournament time will be here before you know it. Yeah, we'll we'll be okay. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not worried one bit. Um, the type of guys that we have on this team. It's, we're fine. Um, you know, we're going to keep getting better. We're going to keep learning from it. Uh, these are definitely going to be the experiences. So we'll go in tomorrow. We'll watch film. We'll learn from it. Um, and we'll go just keep be taking it day by day and game by game. Do you think there's ever an over-reliance by you guys on the idea that, hey, we could score 90 or 100 at any time and maybe take off the – let off the intensity on the other end? I mean, we gotta. We're gonna score, um, but you know, basketball is that offense and defense. So no matter what, we gotta fight and we gotta continue to stick together as a team on the defensive end. Reed, you talked about just touched on a little bit, just not letting this win define your seed. You're talking about kind of rallying the troops a little bit heading into your next game. Yeah, yeah we'll be okay. Um, you know, I've got full confidence in my team. Um, you know, we're gonna be okay. Um, you know, like I said. We'll go into tomorrow, watch film, learn from it, uh, and get ready for a road SEC game, which is always tough. But we'll be okay, and we're going to continue to fight and play for each other. How does it feel when you guys just haven't been healthy for a single game all season? Yeah, I mean, we're we're excited to get everyone back. Um, you know, everyone, but everyone that's been hurt also is been helpful to the team still communicating and being vocal on the bench and, and always being positive but um, you know I'm super excited to have everyone back just so so everyone can play and everyone can have fun together. I do you guys you know obviously keep scoring a lot of points but the late game stops on defense continues to be a problem what has to happen for this team to get those late game stops? Um, I don't know what it is right now but we just gotta find a fight in ourselves and you know, stop when teams just come in and do whatever they want, you know, get offensive rebounds. We just got to find that fight. That's the start of the game, too. You know, they came out hot. You guys punched back there in the middle of the first half, but was that tough to just start the game that way as well? Yeah, I mean, we dug ourselves a hole to start off the game. We should have, we came out, kept it close at the beginning, and then we probably would have been fine at the end of the game, but we dug ourselves a hole that we couldn't get out of. You guys had another push, you know, later there in the second half, got it to single digits. You know, what did you guys do well and what, what fell short? How come you guys couldn't make it, you know, a single position? Uh, I think that's when we was getting stops, you know, uh, not letting them get second chance points. But uh, that didn't last long. You know, they just went right back and was able to keep doing what they wanted. As a leader of this team, just what's your message just after losing back to back? You're in February, there's not much time left. Just what's your message to the team as a leader? Um, I mean, we got yet to play with our full team, but. Not making excuses, you know, you know we're going to figure everything out, you know, find the fight in ourselves. We're a group of competitors, you know. We don't like losing, so we're going to get the, we're gonna get it figured out. I do. You've missed a few games leading up to the last few games. And then the last game, you kind of had to go over the sidelines a few times. You were wearing that back pad again today. Pretty physical game, played a lot of minutes. How you feeling after the game? Uh, you know, a little tired, sore, banged up a little bit, but nothing nothing like a good night's rest and a little bit of treatment. Can't handle it. Feeling pretty good right now? Feeling all right, you know, other than the loss. You know, just feeling all right. What can you say about Rob, what he did out there? That boy can score, you know. Anytime we need a bucket, just get get the ball to Rob. He's gonna go off. When Rob was on the on the bench at, there for a little bit, it seemed like there for a few possessions, you guys couldn't get it going, and you just kind of took it to the rim, got fouled, hit the free throws, and once you finished at the rim, was that something that the offense was just flowing to you, or were you kind of trying to take the game into your own hands while you guys couldn't kind of get it going? Uh, no, I just saw a mismatch in front of me. And, you know. Try to get my team a little boost. Justin was show, showing some signs of life there in, in the first half. He got some buckets, got amped up. What do you tell him? You know, especially with you guys being close in position. What do you tell him to just try to get break out of this? Try to you know become more effective. You know, I see him every day in the gym working. He's 
he's grinding, you know, he's trying to break through, and I'm going to stick with him. You know, that's my brother, so I'm going to stick with him. I know he's going to do it. He's gonna, at the end, everything will be fine. Is there a level of frustration knowing that you guys can pretty much do what you want most nights offensively? And if you just, I mean, if you get a handful of stops, it makes all the difference in the world? Definitely. I mean, just knowing that we're a couple of stops away from winning most of the games, you know. But we're going to get it figured out. You know, we're going to go in uh, tomorrow, watch film, figure everything out, and talk as a team. And, Cal said tonight, if DJ doesn't play, we don't win typically. I mean, it's like three of the losses, but he hasn't played. What does he mean? Like, what, what, is, what does DJ bring to the table? Yeah, you know, DJ, he's, he's a big factor on our team. You know, offense breaks down, he'll be able to beat the person off the dribble due to the move and finish. Offense broke down a couple of times, and we weren't able to you know, get shots that we wouldn't. And uh, he would have became, he would have been a big factor in those moves. Physicality has been a focus of practice. Would you say this is the most physical game you guys have played all year? And just how how are you handling it differently than you did about a month ago? Uh, I'd say for me, like for me, it would probably would be the most physical game. I wasn't really playing a lot, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're gonna get it figured out. I got, I got, I believe in everybody. I got trust in my guys. We don't, we don't. We don't get through this. How do you think you matched their physicality coming out, especially in that early going? You, you said yesterday that you, you knew you were going to have to come out, play physical, kind of punch them in the mouth first time. How do you think that went? I know. First time I tried to jog to the hoop, and tried to get an offensive rebound. The guy grabbed me by my neck, so I already knew how the game was going to go. So I tried to put myself in the best position not to be in positions like that. Can you pinpoint what the problem is defensively to give up 90 plus points for the third straight home? Um, probably our physicality. You know, keep we keep getting stops, but then the offensive rebounds happen. But uh, it's also the fact that you know everybody plays us, and then they make every shot. It's hard to you know just keep competing every time, but. We gon' we gon' find a way. We gon' get through this.